they be like what it be like like you already know what it is it's your boy Calvin like my way coming to you with that daily encouragement chill hey today i really just wanted to drop this quick video pray it don't go long i'm actually on my way to work but um really it's it, it, it this video is based off of individuals having different theologies that that take away aspects of who god is uh, there's, there's certain individuals all over the world, even different uh, denominations, different um, groups and sets or, 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 or camps and what have it that take away certain parts of God. There's some individuals that uh, for the life of me uh, just don't believe in the Christ, the Messiah. They, 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 they're uh, how many uh, Christians say they're stuck in the Old Testament and they're, they're seeking God and, and, and laws and statutes and commandments, right? And then there are brothers and sisters that uh, have this, this mindset of, you know, Jesus Christ and grace. And it's, it's kind of a distorted form of grace in which they uh, dismiss the law, statutes, and commandments, i.e. the word of God. Um, and, and that is a part of who God is. Uh, and then there are other individuals, some from sprinkled from each group, that uh, don't believe in uh, the Holy Spirit, or, or, or i.e. the gifts of the Spirit, uh, saying that they were for uh, only a certain point or a certain time. That they're not for now. Now, see, this is um, a huge part of who, who, and whom God is. Uh, yesterday, today, and forevermore. The Bible teaches us that God changes not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That means, just in this context, right, that the the the, the God, the Father of Oh, uh, the law, statutes, commandments, i.e. the word of God, the, the, the word of the prophets, right? Um, and uh, Jesus Christ, uh, the Messiah, the Son of God, God in the flesh, the word made flesh is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Also, in this exact same context, the Holy Spirit, i.e., the Spirit of God, is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You cannot take God and put him into this uh, box that makes you comfortable. You cannot take God and simplify him down to the common denominator. You cannot take away from the greatness of who and whom he is. Now, let's stop breaking God up and realize that all of that, all, as, as many people say, the Trinity, the, the Godhead. And many, many people understand that it, this the word trinity doesn't appear in the scripture at all it's a theology it's the way that man uh explains god but i don't really do theology i do bible and by understanding who these three entities are simply by the word of god we understand that they are all the most high God can take many forms. Think about it. In the Old Testament, when Moses first met God face to face, he met him as a burning bush. Now, the next time that we see Moses, well, not the very next time, but we also see Moses, he met God on the mountain. And God walked past him and he saw his backside. Moses actually had to hide his face in, the, in, in a cliff in the mountain. In a hole in the mountain. He had to hide his face so that he would not die. But God allowed him to see his back. God appeared as a pillar of smoke, a cloud in the sky uh, for the children of Israel. 
Think about this. God takes many forms, but the same spirit, the same love, that is who he is. The same judgment, the same passion, the same heart, that is who our Most High is. And for you, an individual, for you, a servant of God, to uh, uh, dismiss a part of God's uh, character, tra characteristics, or his character trait, or whom he is, is very, very disrespectful. That's like um, an individual. That's like like me, right? I am to my my son. I am his father. To my wife, I am her husband. To my mother, I am her son. Uh, to my co-workers, I am a, a, a co-worker, right? To, to, to my friends, I am a friend. But to deny any part of who I am would deny me in my entirety. Think about that. We are all a part of the body of Christ, okay? And we cannot be breaking down each other and fighting against itself. The body should never fight against itself. So let's stop trying to pit God against him. Because it's not going to happen. Let us seek the word, seek God, and understand him. Let's not try to uh, 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 make God <laughs> understand us. He, got, he has us figured out. Um. I love you guys. I want you to just understand that that God is bigger than you think. He has a lot. He has a lot in store for you. He has a plan for your life. And if you question God, question Him. Seek your answer in His Word. Pray. Seek His face. Seek truth and understanding. But remember, even truth without the heart, without love, is useless. Till next time, stay encouraged. Be blessed. No God loves you. So do I. There's nothing you can do about it. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Let's get it together. Till next time. God bless. Chill.